Hello, world of internet, Instagram, Facebook, whatever you're, you may be watching this on. I'm John Clay, and I'm, I'm joined with the lovely Adam Lambert. How are you doing, Adam? Hi, I'm, I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm not bad, not bad. Thank you for joining me on this little conversational uh, route, because um, we did a, a video that I'm thinking that we're quite proud of. Um, no pun intended, considering the story and uh, what it means within the actual like um, construction of the video and the song in itself. And um, I just thought it'd be good to talk to you about it. Um, is that is that okay? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Brilliant. Okay. So, firstly, what did you think of the initial idea when it was presented to you when you were told that you were cast in this um, in this film? Um, it it was really interesting. I um, I liked the idea of the uh, the relationship and the dynamics between the two sort of characters and um, um, and how it sort of um, told the story of the the song and um, yeah it was uh, I sort of I found it hard to visualize the um, the sort of the the car uh, scene um, and I kind of at first I thought that we were in a physical car <laughs> don't worry, don't worry that the, the cameraman thought the same thing at some point i think do you remember we were like um we're having issues of how we were filming it and the lighting and uh shogo lovely man um who was uh responsible for the the dop the filming he said well should we just use my car and i thought this is that yeah. moment where a director has to say no <laughs> it's, it's very easy to fall into the idea of thinking right the easier option is best but if it was in a real car it would have less of the magic, you know, I think. Yeah, yeah, no, definitely. Yes, um, yeah, seeing it back, sort of seeing that part now, it looks, it's very clever. And, it, and you, you kind of, imagination fills in the blanks and you, you um, can really see, see what it's meant to be. So it's really good. Oh, thank you. I, I think honestly, like um, you guys trusting myself and Shogo to do this, it says so much for our ability to convince you that we weren't mad because if you're there on the day and you really sit back and think about it, they're not they're not in anything so it's really it's down, no. down to your talent and your your dancing <laughs> ability really just to communicate that which you did so well um on the shoot itself was there any particular challenge that you thought oh how do i go about this how do i how do i work this out that you had to you know confront um i think for me um the um i guess the 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 time it was a long it was kind of a long shoot so which was quite challenging and um uh, i guess i didn't know what to expect really because i've never i've not done a project like this before so um i, I kind of um had no expectations and um um, yeah, but I think it was quite it was quite long, but it was a lot of fun and it was great, great to be involved in. Um, but um, I think as well, the um, I had some difficulty with the timing on um, an aspect of the, the song. Oh. And I was, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. The world doesn't have to know that, Adam. They never have to know. As far as the world is concerned, you got it on the beat. That's what the video is showing. Yeah. They never yeah. have to know. <laughs> yeah. But no, um, you're, you're fantastic. I think um, you're right. Like, how do you prepare for that? Apart from, like, say, maybe studying, um, say, theatre de, de complicité or any kind of physical theatre. There's that. But at the same time, that's physical theatre on stage. It's not with the lights and all the different things that we're using um, that might actually be disorientating. But you dealt with it really well, you know. Well, thank you. Yeah, I uh, I think I should have listened to the song a few more times before <laughs> to uh, to really sort of uh, understand the timing. And uh, but no, yeah, it was it was great. Um, yeah. You're, you're mm. so harsh on yourself because th th there's two <laughs> things I want to pull from that. You know, you'll like this. Um, one, one of the reasons why I cast you is because if I, if I may be so bold, one of the things that I have to have as a director is to know what someone is like and have a, an idea, a projection of what they might be like to work with, but also what they bring to the character. And the character you're playing, um, they, they, they've got such an innocence about them. Now, I, I haven't known you for very long. You, there's all sorts of things you could have done to people that I don't want to know. But as far as I'm concerned, you, do, you definitely communicate as like someone I can trust. 
Um, and so just having that kind of sensibility and that kind of, um, say, moderation of ego was so important. And secondly, when you're saying that you wish you'd heard the song more times, I mean, you know, you, now you know, when you're on a shoot, you're going to hear the song <laughs> more, more than you may even want to. And even say, saying that, I think ultimately it becomes less of, a, of an entertainment. That way it's more of work. So I was quite happy to see you grow in that particular scenario and just go through the different takes. Because my learning curve is that I'm not a choreographer, you know? So we were all working out together what would work in terms of the piece, but also more uh, fundamentally how it looks on camera. You know, so yeah, I found that quite interesting. Um, yeah. In in wrapping up, because this is a mini interview, um, what did you think of the final product, and what did it be? What in in, in your mind, how did you think it was going to be, and what is it? What the actual result? What was the what was the difference, if anything? Um, I mean, it it looks amazing. It's um, it looks so so professional, so uh, like glossy and. Um, I think um, I think for me it's the um, it's got a real sort of I, I want to say sort of contemporary sort of um, I don't know I look, I think at the moment there's a there's a real kind of eighties um, um, revival with sort of symphony sounds and like um, yeah, you know, yeah. things like Stranger Things and oh you are speaking my language are, are you watching Stranger Things at the moment. Um, well, I've not started the new series, but I have. Um, ha I have been watching the previous ones, but yeah, I've not. I've not started it yet. It, it's amazing. <laughs> at, at the risk of making this an advert for Stranger Things Volume Four, <laughs> <laughs> I, I heartily recommend. I had issues with the beginning. I thought, hmm, because like I wasn't much of a fan of the third one, and the second one's okay. But I was just happy to be in that world. It's really about that first season, like. You get yeah. so attached to these kids and you really want them just to progress and just get out of the, the stuff that they're going through. But yeah, four is it's it's a crazy nightmare. And the fact <laughs> that they've they've dumped basically seven episodes and each one being like about an hour long. And then like you've got another half of that season coming out on July 1st, I think. Uh, but don't quote me on that. I, I'm not employed by them to talk about their <laughs> program. I do recommend it, but yeah, um, the video does have like that kind of a vibe and the color correction definitely lends itself to that and all might take my hat off, my imaginary hat off to Shogo for his color um, correction on that video. Um, yeah, 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 so, so yeah. Happy to work. Cool. Um, and uh, yeah, it really taps into that kind of vibe and um, yeah, but I, I didn't, I don't, I didn't really know what to expect to be honest, what, what it would look like, but um, but yeah, it's amazing, really good. Oh, likewise. So good to know that someone like you was actually able to, I mean, as you said, it was a long shoot. At any point, you could have just walked off set, but you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> what are you What are you up to at the moment before we end? Let's, let's plug what you're up to. Is there any particular project that you're keen on being part of or something that you're doing or just any kind of activity? Plug yourself. Um, well, I'm, I'm looking at um, different um, Pride events towards the end of this month um there's different opportunities that I'm, that I'm looking at at the minute so I'm hoping to um to to get involved with that um but um yeah I also start a, a new kind of normal day job soon oh, wow <laughs> as well yeah so um so that's good but um but yeah dance wise I'm I'm going to um London this weekend to sort of pineapple and um have a have a weekend of dance classes and awesome so which I love <laughs> brilliant well I hope that goes really well and by all means as I said off camera you may use the video as a showreel it's fine <laughs> yeah you are awesome. I hope your friends and family really get something out of like the video. And at some point, if they are indeed interested, the song called Ground Zero, here I'm plugging now stuff, <laughs> Ground Zero is actually available through uh, the band camp of Uncle John. It's coming out on 3rd June. So yeah, this has been great. Thank you so much for your time. I shall see you in the future, I hope. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thanks very much. No worries. Bye-bye. Take care.